Hello and welcome back to the Biggest Winner Challenge. We're so happy that you could join us. Now, coming up, we're going to be talking about why do we eat? I know I certainly like eating. How about you? But you know, there's a proper way and there's a reason that we should eat. So we'll hear more about that, followed by a little segment on how to exercise properly with our personal trainer, Marcus. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Designer Lifestyle Biggest Winner Challenge. We're excited to have you here for a second health law. We'll talk about eating for nutrition. You know, the only reason we should eat is for nutrition. Our body needs certain nutrients and it's supplied through our eating. And if we eat for other reasons, which we often do, that is not best. Most times people eat because they're sad, because they're depressed, because they're going through hard times or if they're happy, if they're celebrating, they're eating, and sometimes eating the wrong things or things that are not nutritious. We should not really engage in eating anything that is not nutritious. If we make that a rule that we will only eat nutritious foods, we'd actually have very few problems because a lot of what we have problems with stem from what we take into our bodies. Our bodies are a closed system. What we take in makes a difference, and that's why really only one route for things to get in that's through our mouth and it's so important therefore that what we put in is giving our bodies the nutrition that it needs okay so be careful always remember examine whatever you're going to eat and ask yourself is this nutritious is this something that i really need to eat if not just eat it very sparingly and understand you don't have to eat the whole cake to get the taste of it you can have a small slice or a very sm small sliver and enjoy that for just that moment. You don't have to also say, I'm never going to have any cake just because I'm being nutritious, but just have a small quantity of it. That way you are able to fill yourself up with the nutrient, the more nutritious foods that your body actually needs. So we're going to talk today about that health law, eating for nutrition. We're going to talk about what's the importance of what we eat. Now, a lot of times people do not eat the right things because they're feeling um, depressed, because they're going through hardships, like I mentioned, because there's something else going on in their life, boredom or whatever it is. You need to be examining why you're eating. So the first thing is to understand what precedes my eating. You know, the first thing that precedes any action, any behavior, is our thoughts. Our thoughts control is the antecedent to any behavior. So you can actually change what you do your behavior by changing your thoughts. And that's why it's so important that we think about things before we act, before we do. Think or look before you leap, as the saying goes. Now, that's sometimes hard when you're, you know, just being thrown into a minute, like, oh, I didn't prepare my food at home, and so now uh, there is this thing and I'm hungry, then you're not going to probably want to even think about that. But the reality is we have to prepare to get to achieve any goal in life. So if you want to be healthy, if you want to achieve any goal in life, you have to do the right preparation. And same thing for eating. A lot of times we are caught off guard because we didn't prepare. We didn't do the right preparation and we went to a party or went to work not prepared to eat. And so we end up eating some junk food or something that really was not best for us. And that's often a problem for us. So we want to think about this. As a wise a parable, we'll talk about the five foolish and the five wise, but notice the, the whole point of that was to have, help us to understand that we need to do preparation. If we're not prepared, we'll miss out on even the most valuable things in life, even missing out on eternal life, and we don't want that. So we want to put in the necessary preparation to reach our goals. Eating healthy is actually a very worthwhile goal because it can affect everything else, every disease, stems to some degree to how your body is able to prepare. How can it ward off? How can you prevent yourself from getting colds if your body is not at its optimum, if your immune system is not functioning at its optimum? These are huge things. There are people who are exposed to different, same set of people exposed to the same set of circumstances and different outcomes. And that's based on how well their immune system was functioning. Some people are able to combat that disease and others don't. So remember, keeping yourself prepared, making sure that you have the right preparation to eat a nutritious meal every day is important. So starting with the most important meal, that is breakfast. Why is breakfast so important? You know, 
Um, we had a clinic, and I noticed that every single obese person that walked in, I asked them, do you eat breakfast? And every single one said, absolutely no. So that tells me that although people think one of the biggest myths we have is that if I don't eat breakfast, that's what they would tell me. Well, I don't need the extra pounds. I don't need to eat breakfast. And if I don't feel hungry in the morning, so I'm going to skip breakfast. But that's not the best thing because the reality is if you do not break that fast, your body continues to fast as it should have been doing all night. See, when we go to sleep at night, our body uh, slows down and we go into a fasting stage, or we should. Now, there are some people that do wake up in the night and eat, but that's not best. You're really not supposed to do that. And we'll talk about how we can address that by eating healthier. But as we fast through the night, we wake up in the morning, we need to break that fast. So that word, breakfast, is actually a very appropriate name. Very appropriate. We're breaking the fast. So breakfast is the most important meal because it kickstarts you into getting active and getting your body to say, hey, it's time to wake up now. It's time to move into gear and to get going. But if you don't do that, then your body kind of travels along in this, you know, more fasting stage or at a lower metabolic rate until later when you finally stop fasting, or maybe lunchtime or whatever. And what we find out is that the later you start, the later you end also. So they eat more and eat later in the day, but your body again goes into the fast at night. And so they're eating when their body's actually slowed down again. And so what that does is that actually will help you to gain more weight just by the time of the day that you're eating, not by what you're eating, but the time of the day that you're eating. So it's very important that you understand to maintain a healthy weight, we need to eat breakfast. So one friend of mine, you know what he did? He said, you know, I just got tired of not having enough time in the morning to prepare breakfast. So what I did is I put my, my dinner in the fridge at night because he said I didn't need to eat much. In fact, if there is one meal that you could skip, it is supper. You can skip your supper. And that's what he did. He put, put his supper meal in the fridge, and in the morning he would zap it in the microwave and have it for breakfast. And he said just doing that, he found that he lost 30 pounds just doing that one trick. So you can use that. If you have a problem with making a delicious, healthy breakfast in the morning because of time, you can plan to have that heavier meal for breakfast. That way the body is able to burn all those calories during the day because that's that's what it does. And then at nighttime, when you're slowing down, when your body's not burning as much calories, you're eating very little to no calories. That is best. So I want you to remember that. It's very important. Eating a nutritious breakfast. Second thing we want you to know is what kind of foods? What is a healthy breakfast? Well, eating foods that are very uh, simple sugars, very high in fat and sugars, and are very much processed foods is not best for our health because what happens is the body breaks this down very quickly and it gets to our bloodstream and it tells the body that there's a big meal here, there's a lot of sugar here. Insulin, which takes sugar out of the blood, will come out and it will actually drop your blood sugars below the level that it needs to be. So guess what? In a short time after eating, you will notice that eating that processed food like donuts and simple sugars, you'll find out that you're hungry again, or even a snicker bar. Very short time later, you're hungry again. Why? Because your blood sugar dropped so low that your body sensed that you're hungry, because hunger is sensed by your blood sugar levels. So if you eat a healthier meal, though, like eating oatmeal, you'll see that your blood sugar level actually stabilizes, does not plummet, like it did with the continental breakfast for the donuts because your blood sugar level stayed stable. Eating a meal that is of complex carbohydrates, such as oatmeal and other uh, wholesome foods, will actually keep your blood sugar level stable for a long time, for the whole duration. So you will actually feel and be able to not feel that hunger as quickly. So you're actually able to maintain a healthier weight because you're not eating too often. Okay, you may eat the same amount of calories, but eating too often, you're going to end up eating totally more calories at the end of the day. At the end of the day, any calories that you've consumed that you did not burn up, any excess calories get stored as fat. So even if it were healthy food you ate all day, nutritious food, if you do not burn those calories, at the end of the day, you will find that you will gain weight because those extra calories 
will get stored as fat. So our goal is to eat just the right amount of calories, not overeat, and eat in foods that are high in fiber will help us to do that. For instance, foods that are high in fiber are things like fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, fruits and vegetables have fiber in them, not things such as meats and, and uh, animal products that we often consume. They have zero fiber in them. Fiber is what gives us a sense of feeling full. It gives us a satiety, and that is important not just for us to feel full, but it also is good for fighting things like cancer. And I'll talk more about that in another time, but it's very important that you understand the things that are healthy for us, those come from more fruits and vegetables. So you want to consume more fruits and vegetables in your daily intake. Make that a part of your regimen. In fact, you're supposed to consume nine servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Not just five like a lot of people think, but actually nine servings of fruits and vegetables. So we want you to think about this and to think about eating those nutritious things that your body needs because that is what eating for nutrition is all about. That's a rule. We are only going to eat those things that are nutritious for us to stay healthy and to maintain a healthy weight. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again when we'll talk more about how to live a healthy lifestyle with our biggest winner challenge. We look forward to seeing you again. Hello and welcome to True Health TV. I'm your trainer Marcus and today exercise is, is mountain climbing. We're gonna I'm demonstrate how to do the proper way of doing mountain climbers and the wrong way how to do mountain climbers. Mountain, mountain climbers will help you with your lower abs mainly, but it also engages your shoulders and your rotator cuffs. And as you are uh, going back and forth with your knee, it engages your lower, your upper abs as well. Today, as I demonstrate mountain climbers, I'm, I'm gonna do the improper way first, and then I'm gonna show you the modified way, and then I'm gonna show you the uh, more advanced way. So as I get down, I'm gonna show you first, like I said, the improper way of doing mountain climbers. Normally, my, with my clients, they typically hold their hands way out, and I have to stop them because they're gonna injure their shoulders. Let me show you what, I, what I'm saying. Here, and they had their hands way out here and trying to do mountain climbers, or they had a butt way up in the air. Those are the wrong ways of doing mountain climbers. The correct way is bring your hand back, even with your chest. So you can have, you have yourself braced just like this. As you can see, I got my hand even with my shoulders, and when I bring my leg up, my butt stays down, and my shoulders um, is supported with my chest and my arms because it's right up under my chest. So that, that would be the correct way of doing um, been in the proper stand of doing mountain climbers. So you definitely have to do those right because you don't want to injure your shoulders. Now the modified version, you want to start off with one leg up and just switch them. Go back and forth. As you do this, you will feel your lower out being engaged. All right? So now we're going to do the, most, the more advanced version. You, do, you want to have the same stance but you don't want to touch as you come up. So, hands right up on your chest, butt down, bring your leg up, and switch them. And this is the more advanced version. And that's the proper way of doing mountain climbers. And now, one thing you need to remember, if you are trying to lose weight, it's gonna be more difficult because you're gonna put a lot of pressure on your shoulders. So remember, you want to do other cardio to get yourself ready. You can do mountain climbing standing up until you get yourself ready to get down on the ground. This is True Health TV. Thank you for watching. I'm your trainer, Marcus. Coming up, we'll be talking about how to get the most out of eating their fresh fruits and vegetables, followed by a little segment by Cindy's Kitchen showing us another wonderful recipe. Stay tuned. So you're in the store and you're buying fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Good for you. Not everyone does that. Here's the thing you might want to take notice of. Fruits and vegetables have times when they're in season and times when they are out of season. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't get a fruit and vegetable if it's out of season. But what it means is that the nutrients that are in the fruits and vegetables when they're in season are better for you. Fruits and vegetables are in season year round. Now, not everyone is year round, but I mean like these groups are for part of this and these groups are for these couple of months and these are for this couple of months and it goes all the way around the whole year. For instance, and 
I did not know this until I did some research, cauliflower is in season in October. That's it, just October. So if you really want to get the most out of your cauliflower, which I personally don't know why you would ever want to have cauliflower, but if you do, that's on you. Go ahead and enjoy it, but get it in October because that's when it's best for your body. So I guess the tip today is every fruit and vegetable has its season. And if you get those fruits and vegetables in that season, it'll be better for you. Okay. Hi, I'm Cindy Kaiser and welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to be making for you scrambled tofu. Now, scrambled tofu can be used for breakfast. It can be used also as a side dish for your lunchtime or dinner meal. And this particular recipe calls for a lot of vegetables to be fried with it. So you can use what type of vegetables that you like. If you are taking the uh, biggest winner challenge, this is an excellent recipe for you. It's very low in calorie, it has a lot of protein, and it also it gives you those good veggies that you need every day. And the first thing I'm going to do is chop up some onion for you and get that stir frying. So I'm going to cut this uh, long ways from the onion. I like to hold it together just so that it's easier as you get to the very end of the onion to be at the end of the onion you won't slice your finger. That's always a good thing. Now I'll take my onion and I will half it because to get it small you need a little you need to work with the onion a little bit smaller. So I'm going to dice this pretty small. For those of you who do not like onion, this is not something you have to put in your dish. Like I said earlier, just put any type of vegetable that you like. I'm going to use today that I'm going to use onion, orange, bell pepper, and I'm going to put in chives, a little bit of tomato, and mushroom. Tofu is a, a, a product that is not as popular with people. They say that it doesn't taste good, it doesn't have, really has no flavor. Tofu has, takes on the flavor of whatever seasoning you put in it. So to me, if someone says I don't like tofu, it's like you gotta try my tofu. And then tell me you don't like tofu. So today I wish you could taste this because this scrambled tofu eggs are really very good. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of oil in my fry pan, put my onion, Go ahead and get that started. Then I'll cut up my bell pepper. And again, you know, there's measurements like of a, a half a cup of bell pepper, half a cup of onion. You like more, you can add more. You like less, you can add less. There's really no um, exact science to the amount of vegetables as long as they don't exceed the amount of the tofu. So here I have the bell pepper, pretty well chopped up. I'm going to scooch that in to the pan, get that stir frying. And then I'm going to add some mushrooms. So this is a good meat substitute. You're cutting down a meat and it has no fat. And so if you use tofu, um, to substitute some meat dishes during the week, you're going to lose weight. Because you're going to get the protein you need, but then also not the calorie. Because where are the calories? Calories are in the fat. That's where most of your calories are. And as we know, meat is full of fat. And so it has a lot of calorie. And we know we need more fruits and vegetables in our diet. We're told we need to eat 10 a day and sometimes that's very difficult to get into your diet. So by adding tofu and, and some of these other side with, with the vegetables, you're gonna get a lot of vegetables in this particular dish. I'm gonna chop up some chives just to give a little more flavor. Now it calls for two tablespoons of chives. And so it's kind of hard to measure the chives into a tablespoon. So I'm going to get like one of my, a tablespoon here, and then just throw that in. And throw another one in. Okay. Let's get that stir frying. In the winter when it's hard to get a, a big slicing tomato taste good, get the grape tomatoes. I even slice them and put them on my sandwich, even though they're small and they might fall out, they taste so much better than the, the big slicing tomatoes this time of year. 
Nothing can beat, though, a homegrown tomato in the summer. And th what's going to be nice about this is that there's so much color in the pan. We've got green, we've got yellow, we've got orange, we've got red, we have brown and white. And then we're going to add the tofu for some more white, but the tofu is going to turn yellow after I put the, the um, seasonings on it, you'll see. Before I put the tofu in, I wanna, I'm going to go ahead and put the spices on the vegetables. And it calls for um, two teaspoons of chicken style seasoning. And you can find this at your regular grocery store too. And it's, uh, there's different brands out there to use. I, I like the McKay's, but there's, I've used others and it's, they're all good. So two teaspoons. And just sprinkle it evenly across your vegetables. And then one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is very, very healthy for you. Um, and it has a cheesy flavor to it. And it has all your B vitamins, which are very good for you. I also use this on popcorn. I love it on my popcorn. And then salt, uh, just a half a teaspoon of salt. And a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And a half a teaspoon, or a fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric. Now turmeric is what's going to give it its yellow um, color. Now I could go on and on and on about turmeric. Turmeric is an anti, natural anti-inflammatory. I believe everybody should take turmeric every day. It actually helps your heart as well because they're finding that inflammation is what causes a lot of heart disease. And so if you take turmeric, it's an, a natural, um, natural anti-inflammatory. And people are finding that it's, fighting, it's a pre a cancer killer, so it's, it's preventive to cancer. Now I'm going to it's time now to get my tofu and put it in the pan. Now I have been draining, I've been draining the tofu in my colander in the sink. So I'm just going to put the tofu. I crumbled it in my fingers with my fingers to get it fine, like egg consistency when you scramble it. You're going to see that the turmeric it will. It's an amazing spice. Not only is it very healthy for you, but it has a, a beautiful yellow color. It's gonna take that white tofu and give it the color of scrambled eggs. Food needs to taste good, but it needs to look pretty as well to make it look appealing to wanna eat it. And so we wanna make sure that what we make is attractive and if, you know, if you, eating a lot more plant-based meals, you're going to find that people will, your kids and your family and your company will enjoy it if, it's, if it has a lot of color to it and beauty. Of course, the taste is very important as well. We want to make sure it tastes good. Okay, my scrambled tofu is finished. And here is the finished product. We have a little bit of uh, scrambled tofu and I put a fresh chives on top to give the color and, and beauty. And I decided to make a plate for you like what you would have for breakfast. So I cut up some fresh mango, put some extra um, uh, grape tomatoes on the plate for you and some whole grain bread. Yummy. I know you're gonna, your family will enjoy it. For the first time you've ever tried tofu, I would love to hear some feedback from you. If you want to send us a little message and let us know how the scrambled tofu turned out. We would love to do that. Thank you for coming to my kitchen today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Well, that is a great recipe on scrambled tofu. And let me tell you, my kids just love scrambled tofu. They love it more than eggs. They like to eat it every day. So you want to try that recipe. Coming up, we'll have a segment on diet pills by Dr. Tracy Wallace, a family practice physician. Hello, I'm Dr. Tracy Wallace and this is Metafacts on True Health TV. I know you've heard them before. Lose all the weight you can without diet or exercise. Eat whatever you want and lose weight. Lose 30 pounds in 30 days. You've heard the diets. The Atkins diet, the South Beach diet,
the hallelujah diet, the blood type diet, the caveman diet, no matter what your preference, there is a diet out there for you. But when it comes to losing weight, it's all about the calories. How many calories are you putting in and how many calories are you burning? We live in a calorie rich society. It is so easy to get calories. In fact, food has never tasted this good. Food is manufactured for its taste. How do they do it? By adding more salt and fat and sugar. In fact, we know that this food actually stimulates pleasure centers in your brain. When it comes to losing weight, you need to keep track of every calorie you put into your system. You need to know how many calories are going in and how many calories you are burning. Remember, eat to live and not live to eat. This is Dr. Tracy Wallace, and you've been listening to Medifacts on True Health TV. Now, aren't you happy that you know of a better way than diet pills to achieve a healthy lifestyle? Well, coming up next, we want to share a word with you from Pastor Steve on prayer, the importance of prayer. Hi, I'm Pastor Steve, and I have a question for you. Is prayer related to good health? I know some of you have made some health goals, but you have questions about whether you will follow through with your good intentions. All of the health clubs notice a great increase in membership and attendance right after the new year due to all the new year resolutions but they know that attendance will normalize after a few weeks. But here is an important fact for you to consider. God wants you to be healthy. It is his will for you. Whenever we pray for something that's in his will, he will answer our prayer. Sometimes his answer is immediate, sometimes not so immediate. But an important component to achieving your health goals is prayer. I would encourage you to make prayer your first and last component in achieving your health goals. Prayer is the key to unlock heaven's promises. His promises are powerful. The power to fulfill the promise is already in the word of the promise. So including and claiming God's promises in your prayers will make your prayers powerful. But I would encourage you to remember that God answers our prayers in the way that will be of most benefit to us. Sometimes he just supernaturally answers our prayer. Sometimes he empowers our will to be stronger. And while a longer course involving some ups and downs, victories and relapses, this is often how he answers our prayers. So don't be tempted to think God isn't hearing you if you suffer some defeats. Keep praying and keep on trying. Be persistent in your prayers. God answers our prayers in proportion to our persistent faith. Here are Jesus' words of encouragement to pray with persistence found in Luke 11, 8 and 9. Because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you but the effects of prayer upon our health are even more widespread. In one National Institutes of Health funded study, individuals who prayed daily were shown to be 40% less likely to have high blood pressure. A 2011 study of inner city youth with asthma by researchers at the University of Cincinnati indicates that those who practiced prayer and meditation experienced fewer and less severe symptoms than those who had not. Other studies show that prayer boosts the immune system and helps lessen the severity and frequency of a wide range of illnesses. So, indeed, prayer is related to good health. I'm Pastor Steve. Thank you for joining us on our inspirational moment. Join us next time on True Health TV. Well, I'm so happy that prayers are answered. Whether or not even people know they're being prayed for, their prayers are being answered. So we're praying for you that you will succeed in your healthy lifestyle changes. Now, coming up next, it's time for you to get up 
and get active with Adrenaline and Tracy Mitchell. We will be enjoying this together now. No more sitting down. It's time to get up and pump that oxygen and get that blood flowing with Adrenaline. Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Adrenaline. Today we're going to be focusing on soldiers fit for the master's use. But before we get started, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do give you praise, glory, and honor just because of who you are. You said in your word that we glorify you through our bodies, which are yours anyway, Father. We thank you for this opportunity to present ourselves unto you a living sacrifice which is holy and acceptable in your eyes, Father. We thank you for all those who have joined us today. We pray no hurt, harm, or danger comes upon anyone. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, and all who agree say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible says to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So before we get started, I'd like to introduce my group to you. We've got Chastity joining us. Give it up for my girl, Chastity. Also, we've got Felicia joining us. Hey, Felicia. Awesome. We've got my girl, Darielle, joining us in the back. Hi, Darielle. Cheryl's also joining us today. Hey, Cheryl. And Amber. Hey, Amber. Charmin's joining us over there to the end. And last but not least, we've got Dwayne who's joining us, holding it down for the fellas. Give it up for Dwayne. Woo! All right. So we want to add knowledge. We've got some beginners with us today. I'm sure we've got some beginners at home, so don't be intimidated. Where are my beginners? So we've got Darielle and Felicia. Keep your eyes on those two for the more modified beginning stages, okay? And Darielle's got it going on. She just had a baby two weeks ago. Give it up for Darielle. Yeah. Six weeks ago. Six weeks ago, not two. My bad. <laughs> Who are our intermediates? So Cheryl and Felicia and Chastity. So those of you who are intermediate, you, you're not a stranger to work out, but you're easing your way back into it. Keep your eyes on those. And who are our advanced? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, so before we get started, let's go ahead and warm up. Legs apart. You want to inhale deeply through your nostrils. Yeah. And bring it down. Y'all smiling at home? You know the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your what? Strength. Yeah, so God watches over his word, ready to perform it. So we're going to do just that and keep the word in the workout. We would love to have God as our audience watching over us as we present ourselves to him as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto him and only him. Everything you do, you want to do it heartily unto God and not unto man. Amen. Amen. Keep it right here. Let's warm up these shoulders. We're going to take it back slowly, releasing the synovial fluid. Abs are nice and tight. Y'all still smiling at home? Yeah, we're having a good time. Two more full circles all the way back. Last one, go ahead and take it forward. Continuously breathing. We're just warming up. Circle forward. Hold it right here. You wanna take your hand over the head, pull down, and alternate. Get a good stretch, here we go. I'm about to speed it up. Y'all ready to roll? Yeah. Let's go. All right, I'm representing the band, so come on down here with me. Let's get this thing going. The name of the show is called what? Yeah. Come on now. Huh. Come on now. Take it down, we're stretching. We haven't even started yet. It's over, over. Oh, we're pulling down those strongholds. And you know strongholds are in your mind. It's the way you think. God says if you keep your mind stayed on him, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Come on, come on, over the head. Press forward. Yeah, 
y'all looking good. Now, those of you watching at home, if you need to stop and grab water, that's okay. We'll be here when you get back, won't we? Yeah, we'll wait on you. Gonna take it back over the head right about now. Gonna tap with it. Yeah, come on. You all right back there, Dwayne? All right. Woo! Darielle? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Check this out. We're gonna put the word in it. Three sets of 10. Ready? Give it to me, let's go. I can do all you through Christ with. Press to the floor, the same thing. can do all Deep breath in, keep marching, blow it out. Anybody break a sweat yet? Not yet, not yet. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Anybody sweating yet? Not yet. Can we get it started? So check it out, we're soldiers fit for the master's use. When I think about soldier, I think about like hardcore boot camp, you know what I mean? Kind of like, join me with this movie, y'all. When I think about soldiers, I think about being ready for the battle. And the Bible says the battle is not ours, but it's whose? So you don't have to fight the battle. Jesus has already won everything, right? Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Blow it out. We're getting ready to get it started for real now. Oh yeah. You got your soldier stuff on? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's take it by force. Dwayne in the house. Come on up here, Dwayne. Woo! Yeah. When you think about soldier, Dwayne, what kind of soldier are you? I'm a conqueror. Conqueror. What does the Bible say about conquerors? We conquer all those things that come against us. And it also says that we're more than conquerors That's through right. Christ. So come on, give me a conquering exercise. Y'all ready? Jump squats. Jump squats, what do they look like? Very good. So what he's doing is hitting up the quads, glutes, and abs are tight. Let's do about 10 more. Watch those knees at home. That's how you become a soldier for Christ. Give it up for Dwayne. Yeah. Thank you, Dwayne. All right. I think we're sweating now. You guys sweating at home? All right. Here we go. Come on. Woo! You want to keep your body moving now. Don't slow it down. Keep the momentum up. Take it down. Huh. All right, Chastity, come on up here, girl. What kind of soldier are you? Mighty. mighty. The Bible says, what about being mighty? Not strong in your own strength. And in the power of his might. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Elbows to the knee. Her abs are nice and tight. Blow it out. Arms up and down. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Chess. Give me my arms, girl. Up, up. There you go. Not in your own strength. Give it up for Chastity. Amber, you ready to show them what kind of soldier you are? Come on, Amber. Now, Amber, when you think about soldier, what kind of soldier are you? Enduring. Endure hardness like a good soldier for who? Jesus Christ. Come on with it, Amber. Let's go. Come on over here, Amber. Abs are tight and breathing. Breathe out. We gotta put the word on this one. Y'all ready? I can do all things through Christ. Give it to me again. I can 
Do ah. Uh. Keep going. Five, six, One more. Six, Here we go. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Huh. Yeah. Woo wee. Keep it moving. All right. Who? What other soldiers in the house? Charmin. Come on up here, Charmin. Give it up for Charmin. What kind of soldier are you, Charmin? Now, what's the word on that one? 1 Corinthians 15, 57. What does it say? It says, God has given me all the victory and all glory and all honor. Amen. And made me victorious in all things. Show me what you're talking about. Hey. Woo! All right, let me make sure I got my, my soldiers with the warfare. Ooh, come on, Chastity. That's it. Come on, Daria. Hold it down. that scripture again, Sharma? 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Take note at home, 1 Corinthians 15, 57. There you go. Come on, Amber. Give it to me, Amber. Take it down low. That's it, Dwayne. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all give it up for Sharma. Awesome. Come on. Keeping our momentum going. Keep that adrenaline flowing. Oh, yeah. Any other soldiers in the house? Come on up here, you know who you are. You know who you are. Cheryl Mallory, come on up here, girl. Give it up for Cheryl. Cheryl, what kind of soldier are you? I am triumphant. Oh, shucks, now what's the word on that? He always calls Yes, he does, hallelujah! What's the exercise on it, Cheryl? Huh, come on, legs all the way up. Huh, come on. Make sure you're breathing, and I know y'all smiling. I know you're smiling, Felicia. Come on. More than conquerors. You know what that means? More than conquerors means Jesus already fought the battle. We're more than conquerors because we don't have to fight. Jesus did it all. Amen? Amen. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Keep pulling. You better put the word on it in five. Faith without works is dead. Let's go. Faith. Uh-huh. Without works is Let's go, keep it going. Hey, without work is last time. Keep moving, hey. Oh yeah, without work is dead. March it out. Go into your stands. Felicia, come on up here. Take it down, take it down. Felicia, what kind of soldier are you? Talk to me, what's the word on that? Oh, I can't hear you, girl. Give me some power with it, come on, what you say? She said, all power is in God's hand. What's the word, what's the workout today? Kick it out. Devils, you know what? Come on. Huh. Yeah. Kick it, kick it. Take it by four. Matthew 11, 12. Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffers violent, and the violent do what? Come on, let's take it. Huh. Oh. Oh. Take it by four. She's pulling them arms down. Oh. Come on. Five more. That's faith. Come on, without work is dead. Woo wee, thank you. We're gonna feel that one. You're gonna feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, keep breathing, keep smiling. Oh yeah, come on. Get that adrenaline flow. Come on, hearts pumping. Yeah, have you been up here? Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, dare you. Clap it out. What's the word? What kind of soldier are you? What's the word on it? That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Let's take it bold to the throne of grace. Take it bold. 
Woo! We bold, we're taking it. That's it, Jerry, yeah. 10 count, let's go, let's, ah! Come on back up here. Ten. Two. Oh, ah, not something. Thing. Woo! Come into the segment of adrenaline where we talk about resistance training. The Bible says resist the devil and he'll flee from you. So just like in the spiritual, we want to demonstrate in the natural. So it is in the natural, it is in the spiritual, right, Dwayne? Amen. Amen. Right. So as the body of Christ, we need to represent and look like the body of Christ, right? right? We Amen. Know. We have such a great cloud of witnesses. So let's give them something to look at. The Bible also says that God looks at the heart on the, only God can see our heart, but man looks at what? The outward yes, appearance. The yeah. Outward man looks at the outward appearance and God looks at the heart. On the flip side, give him something to look at. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's show some resistance training. Amen. So let's go ahead and demonstrate biceps. The biceps are the muscles on the front of the arms. Let's go ahead and go into the flex position. So you want to curl up and take it down. And when you're doing your biceps, you want to make sure you do a full range of motion. Arms all the way up arms all the way down and you want to continuously breathe inhale and blow it out did you know god does everything with a purpose amen the biceps are used to flex the elbows like everyday things like picking up the children answering the phone what else like putting food in your mouth yeah that's a good one picking up groceries, groceries. so you flex up and extend down full range of motion all right, another part of the arm that we're gonna do some resistance training is the triceps. Where are your triceps, Dwayne? Bam. Booyah, yeah. Booyah. <laughs> and where's your other one? Bang. Triceps on the back of the arm. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have our knees slightly bent, arms up, and kick back, let's go. Another good exercise, sculpting and toning those triceps. The triceps are good to extend the elbows. All right, so without your triceps, you wouldn't be able to reach up above your head. You know, you wouldn't be able to lift things. Lift things, put yourself up off the ground. There you go. That sounds like a plank. That is. All right. Let's hold it on the count right here. Hold it like five seconds. We're still resisting the devil and he'll flee. Amen. Body of Christ represent, pull it in. Always. And shake it off. So we've demonstrated the biceps, triceps, and what's next? Shoulders. Shoulders, all right. Elbows up, abs tight. What you want to do is elevate your arms above your head, all the way up and pull it down. Right back up, and right back down. You keep going, Dwayne. So what he's doing is shoulder presses. Anterior deltoids, medial deltoids, and posterior deltoids. Layman's term, front, middle, and back. Awesome, thanks, Dwayne. Yes, That's what I'm talking about, total body. Total body. Resistance training, there you have it. So join us as we get in Adrenaline's Resistance segment. Welcome back to the Resistance segment of Adrenaline where we add weights to the workout. You all ready? Yeah. Hey, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Take it up and down. Oh, we're going right into this thing. Remember, if you're a beginner, you don't have to go all the way up. Intermediate, halfway. Advanced, give it to me now. Here we go. Come on, take it up. Abs tight, knees are slightly bent. Focus more so on your form. Hitting up those deltoids. Feel the burn. Y'all feel the burn? Come on, one set of 10. Give it to me, let's go, that's I. Can, oh, do, all, 
thing. Come on, I know it's burning. Through, Through who? Right. Which? Strength is going right into those bicep curls. Take it down and up. Curl it up. This is an active rest workout. Hitting up those biceps while the deltoids are resting. Good. Full range of motion. All the way up, all the way down. Abs are tight. Knees are slightly bent. Add a little hips if you want to. The Bible says we're the salt of the earth. Come on. Give me a little flavor. You can bounce it all the way out, Dwayne. I'm all right with that. Come on, give me some flavor. We're the salt of the earth. Don't lose that savor. All the way up. There you go. We're going back to the deltoids. Shake it off. Woo! Arms down, bring it up to the front. You got to take it up and down. A base and a bound. Come on, take it up and down. Looking good at home, I see you. Oh, anterior deltoids. Front of the shoulders. That's it. Faith without works is what? Yeah. Jesus said he came that we might have what? Life. And have it more abundantly. Come on, give me about five more. That's faith without works is. Back to them biceps. Single. Woo! Looking good. Oh, you got it. Come on, come on, come on. Take it up and down. Up and down. We're going into the triceps. Oh, yeah. Watch me move. Bam. Triceps. You got it. Work it. Boom. Hit it. Oh, squeeze. That's it. Come on, Chastity. Nothing to it but to do it. Come on. It's the scripture where Jesus said, don't talk about it, be about it. That's it. Faith without works is dead. He said, you talk about that faith, but I'll show you mine by my works. Come on, come on. Huh. Looking good. Give me about 10 more. Oh, you all right? Is it burning? It hurts so good. Come on, come on. Overhead, shoulders, shake it out. Here we go, here we go. Legs apart. You with us at home? Pump it up. Huh. Just pull down those strongholds. Every last one of them. Pull them down. Oh. Pull them down. You know strongholds are in your mind. But if you keep your mind stayed on Jesus, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Oh. Pull it down, Chastity. Pull them down. Oh. Pull them down, Felicia. Come on. Woo. You all right, Amber? Pull them down, girl. You holding it down, Dwayne? Holding it down. Come on, Sharma. You all are right at home. Shake it out right here. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Now remember, we're soldiers fit for the master's use. Huh. Taking this thing by four. Come on, come on, come on. Huh. A little lower. Y'all come on down here with me. No cheating, no half stepping. Woo! Oh yeah. That's the fire. That's that adrenaline. Oh yeah. Bring it up. Yeah, you all right, Amber? Come on, come on, come on. Take that thing by force. Come on. Come on, the base and the bounce, take it down. Oh, down. You got it, work it. Hold it right here. Come on, come on, come on. Sometimes in life you have to humble yourself. A base, and God will exalt you in due season. Here it comes. Come on. I told you it always comes. All you have to do is hang in there and endure hardness like a good soul. Oh. Give it all you got, bring it in, take it out. See, when you put the word over the workout, God watches over his word, ready to perform. But you have to have the word richly dwelling in you. That's your fighting tools, that's your ammunition. So make sure the word is richly dwelling in your heart. Come on, come on. 
See, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of what? Stronghold. See, my crew got the word all up. Bam, we win. Huh, come on, y'all. Take it by four. Oh, yeah. Woo, come on. Come on at home, I see you. No excuses. I know you got some canned goods or something in that kitchen. We'll wait on you. Go get it. Huh. You got it. Little long words. Let's go. Woo. Five more. Let's put the word on this. That's faith. What's that? Word. Is. Hold it right here. Hold it. Woo. Bounce it out. Faith kingdom. Can't be moved. Bring it up. Bring it up. Back where we started. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. Was that good? Yeah. yeah. Give it up for the Most High God. In Him we live, breathe, and have our very being. Without Him we would not be able to do any of this. So thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you all the thanks, all praise, glory, and honor truly belongs to you. So thank you for giving us the strength to endure. Amen. Amen. Let's cool this thing down. Arms up. Inhale. Back where we started and blow it out. Still smiling. The joy of the Lord still your strength. Amen. Take it down. You always want to cool down. Last time, inhale, deep breath up. And blow it out of your mouth. All the way down, back to the shoulders, back. Full circle. All the way back. Getting the blood evenly circulating throughout the body to avoid pooling. And that's where the blood goes straight down to your toes and you find yourself lightheaded, dizzy, birds circling around your head, stars that aren't really there, blues that look like red. Come on now. So we want to do all things decent and in order. We're just simply cooling down. The Bible says do all things decent and in order. So take it forward. Forward circles all the way around. Yeah. Feeling back normal again. And last time, arms all the way up. Keep your arms up this time, palms together. Lean over to your left. And you want to stretch. Get a good stretch on the oblique. All the way over, arms are straight above your head. Looking good. All the way back up to the center. Take it over to the right. Very good. Bring it back up. Arms down slowly. Hands on your hips. Knees are slightly bent. Press forward, forward, forward. You want your abs nice and tight. Press forward, forward. There you go. We're releasing the synovial fluid in our hips. And that's the fluid that lubricates your joints. Did you know that, Chassis? You know it now, girl. Bring it up slowly. Release that synovial fluid, press it back. Press back. See, God equips you with everything. You have synovial fluid, which lubricates your joints. Take it over to the right. Ready, ready, let's go. Are you all feeling good? Yes. You glad it's almost over or you want to start it up again? Let's get this party started. <laughs> let's crank it up. Adrenaline is flowing. Take it over to the left. We're cooling down. Just having a little fun, it's okay. Bring it up slowly, back where we started. Exaggerate that breathing. There you go, looking good. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Adrenaline, where we put the word in the workout. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah!